Hi, my name's Maddie and we're back to do some more grammar and punctuation. So today I thought we'd look at the four forms of a sentence and have a real good discussion about what punctuation we use for each one. So I know lots of you already know this, but I just thought we'd do a bit of a revision and have a bit of a meaty conversation about the exclamation mark. Okay, so one of the first types of sentences that we use is a statement. And I know that lots of us use statements all of the time. I use them quite often. And for today's purpose of today, I'm going to do it in the context of the weather, because I think it makes more sense if we do each of the types of sentences in the same context, just to, just to give it a little bit more connection. So when we make a statement, we're basically just saying something, like the sun is shining, it is raining, um, there is a rainbow. They would all be connected with the weather. And we can either use a full stop, or an exclamation mark. Now basically, we can use an exclamation mark a lot of the time, sometimes we overuse them, and as, as time has evolved, we do use them um, more often in text messages, emails, as an exclamation, as an interjection. So we are using the exclamation marks a lot more these days, but we do, we do need to think about why we use them. So we can use an exclamation mark at the end of a statement, or we can use a full stop. So we could write, it is raining, with a full stop and just say it is raining as a statement or we could write it is raining with an exclamation mark if we're about to go somewhere and then we come in and say it is raining because we're showing shock or surprise or excitement you might be happy that it's raining you might not be happy so a statement can have an exclamation mark or a full stop but it doesn't make it an exclamation sentence it's still a statement that's punctuated with an exclamation mark. Okay, we can also have a question. Now I know everybody knows how to make a question mark. Now the thing about a question is, questions most of the time end with a question mark, and lots of us know the way we can start questions. When we're at our youngest, we probably use the W word, so I know lots of younger children will say who, what, when, why, where, as their question starter, and they're fine. But we also know there's lots of other ways of starting questions like how or do or can or could or um, do you have do you have an umbrella or can you open the window? You know, we can start questions in different ways. And if you're a more um, experienced writer, you might even be using question tags like you might say it's raining, isn't it? So you might have your statement, it is raining, and then add on the end, isn't it? And that turns it into a question. So we can have questions that start with lots of different words. So let's not always rely on our who words. So I'm going to ask, is it raining? As my question. Or do you think it will rain? As my question. So I've started my question in two different ways and neither of them are a W word. So there are more question words than on the W question hand. Okay, the next one is a command. Now, if you're like me, you probably like giving commands but don't like hearing them because basically a command is telling you to do something. And traditionally, commands have been punctuated with an exclamation mark. So we might say stop. Um, if somebody is about to go out and it's really, really pouring down, you might say stop or wait. However, we can also put a full stop for our command. So a command and a statement can be punctuated with two different punctuation marks. So you could say wait and just put a full stop. Or you could have wait with an exclamation mark, depending on the how you're using it in your writing. OK, so commands are telling somebody to do something and they can be simple like this or they can have two ideas. So it might be stop and get an umbrella. So you're telling them to do two things. And the last sentence type that I've left, left till the end is perhaps the one that has um, more debate than others. And it's our exclamation. Now, it's an exclamation sentence, not an exclamation mark, because we've already looked that a statement can have an exclamation mark and so can a command, but it doesn't make them an exclamation sentence. It just means they're a statement with an exclamation mark making an exclamatory statement or a command with an exclamation mark making it an imperative. So an exclamation sentence um, usually starts with what or how and includes a verb, okay?
K and obviously has an exclamation mark. And I always like to say to the children when I'm teaching them, they're a little bit like Red Riding Hood sentences. The way she says to the wolf, what big eyes you have. So it starts with a what and it's got the verb, okay? So an exclamation traditionally, um, and for the purpose of the key stage one and key stage two sats, must start with what or how and include a verb. So you could have what a rainy day it is with an exclamation mark. I'll just make that a little bit better. So I try to keep to the theme of rain. I don't know why when we're having such great weather, Perhaps you could have a go at making up a statement, a question, a command and an exclamation and choose a theme for yours. I know the children who I work with like to choose food. So one of the boys in my class had an obsession with waffles. So he used to have all of his sentence types related to waffles. Or you might want to do them related to a footballer or something else that you're interested in. But why don't you have a go at trying to write one of each and keep this on the screen so that you can remember how you can punctuate each of those types of sentences. Thanks for watching and see you next time.